Hi everyone, this is Jim with, with Mindful Things and we are going through the installation instructions for the AC Saver, whether it's the AC Saver starter kit or the plus kit. Uh, installation of the mesh is the same. Uh, you will receive a um, bag with a, a flow control valve and instructions. You'll also get the mesh. Now, your condenser at home could be one of many different sizes. You can see here, this is uh, what would be considered more of a medium size condenser. And here you've got uh, what would be considered a larger size condenser and AC Saver works it up to five, 10 condensers, which would be even larger than this. For the purpose of this instructions, we're going to start with installing on the medium size. So the first thing you want to do is get your AC Saver mesh out of its bag. You are going to identify the top, which is where the label is located. This is the top and you're going to put it around like a skirt around the condenser and have it so that the back is approximately where the wires are entering the device. So uh, approximately here. So you wanna get your mesh located around the condenser and with the uh, screens and you want to take this um, bungee here and just make sure that it push the button and you can just tension it. We don't need a lot of tension, just enough tension that this won't fall down. Then you're going to want to take the bottom and uh, what you're going to do is bring it under the wiring and there's a hook on the other side. You're just going to hook it around there and then just make sure that there's tension. Now let's look that it appears that the mesh is uh, laid out pretty well. It's uh, over uh, the air intake. We're going to now take Uh, the water hose out, find your closest spigot. In this case, the spigot is actually quite close. And in some cases, you might need to use a Y splitter if you've got other things running. Uh, for example, you know, uh, sprinklers and the flow control, control valve is initially off. Take the other end of the hose and you're going to find the connection at the top of the AC saver and you're just going to plug it into the quick connect and just firmly press it in so that it goes in all the way. And that completes the uh, initial setup. Now let's set the water pressure. Okay, now that uh, AC Saver is installed, we want to set the water flow. As you can see, we now um, have the system running and we're going to turn the uh, garden hose spigot on. And what you want to do is initially set this to number two. That's a good kind of starting point. The flow is going to really depend on a lot of factors, including the pressure in your home, etc. And so what you want to see is that while the AC saver is running, with, while the condenser is running, you can see that water is beginning to flow down the mesh. And actually in this case, a setting of two seems to be actually too much. Uh, because we already have a lot of water uh, reaching the bottom. So we're going to actually lower it to between, we're going to lower it to between one and two. 
And what we want to do is allow this to kind of stabilize so that it's wet all the way at the bottom, but there isn't very much water that's making its way down and dripping on the floor while the condenser's running. So um, this is going to take a little bit to allow everything to uh, stabilize and the mesh to get fully saturated, but that is the process for installing the AC Sabre. Thank you very much.